Hello everyone. It's your favorite person, Zanita. <laughs> I am, first of all, it's 10.30 at night and I totally just made myself get off the phone so that I could record this video um, because I could not stop thinking about today. So I am super annoyed um, this is my annoyed face in case you don't know me in real life. <laughs> I, um, had my, I had an appointment with my surgeon's office today, which I thought was going to be my final pre-op appointment, but apparently there is an actual pre-op appointment. This was just my six months, so whatever. Um, and I weighed in for, um, I wait, started the liver reduction diet on April 1st. I went in on April 6th to weigh in um, to see, um, just because I hadn't been, I hadn't gotten um, a starting weight before the diet started. So um, at that point, since my last uh, office visit, which was on March 18th, I had lost 22 pounds. So, I thought, yay, great, whatever. We were all excited. I was all excited. <clears throat> so, continue on. I've been doing every single thing that the liver reduction diet has requested, um, slash required, whatever. And I go today, and it's been two weeks, and I lost 10 pounds. Um... So that puts me at a total since March 18th. Um, today's what the 21st, so pretty much a month, um, at 32 pounds, which that is a great number. Yes, everybody's so excited. Obviously, I'm not. Um, I feel like I don't know why I'm so angry about this. First of all, I've been trying to like just chill out. Um, my best good friend Cheryl went ahead and cussed me right clean on out um, with real cuss words <laughs> and told me to stop being stupid and stop being upset because people do not lose 32 pounds in one month. And she wishes that she could even lose the 10 pounds in the two weeks as well as other people. And obviously that is true. But the way that I keep thinking about it is I feel like I, I am a failure, first of all, um, because I only lost 10 pounds in the last two weeks. I feel like that if I would have never weighed in that first what like that first date on the sixth, that I would have been more surprised at the end to have lost thirty two pounds in one month without knowing what I started at. Um, I am super pissed off at myself that I did not get a starting weight before April first. Um, other than the diet, the weight that I was at on March eighteenth, which is obviously real close to April first, but whatever. Um, because now I keep thinking, did I lose the weight on the liver reduction? Did I lose it before April 1st when I first started the liver reduction diet? Um, but then when I'm honest with myself, I know that I was not eating what I was supposed to eat before April 1st. I still was eating fast food. I still was drinking carbonation. I still was eating fruit. I still was eating whatever I felt like eating, even though I wasn't supposed to, you know, supposed to be, but... I just keep thinking, what if? Like, I keep second guessing my success. I also know that it is a definite possibility um, that I lost 22 pounds in the first six days of the month. It's happened before. Um, I When I did Weight Watchers the very um, first time when I was successful with losing that um, 187 pounds, um, I, can't, I can't remember when it was, like maybe five years ago at this point, but I lost 20 pounds the first week. A lot of it is definitely water weight, I know that, but it's still way off of my body and off of my joints. Um, so it's a possibility because obviously I told y'all about like the water weight and me having to go to the bathroom all the time. So I probably could have lost in six, 
six days, 22 pounds. It's not unreasonable for me. I've lost 15 pounds. I lost, when I started Weight Watchers a couple, of, like maybe a year or two ago, I lost 15 pounds the first week. So that's not an, an unusual amount of weight for me to lose the first week of starting a diet. But I feel like, I just feel like just crap because I only lost 10 pounds in the last two weeks. Now, I did have Shark Week, um, la whatever, what, last week or whatever it was. So, I know I probably didn't, even though I still stuck to my um, diet, it was like Mother Nature decides that she just does whatever she wants to do and puts whatever weight on your body that is not even necessary um, while you're having your time of the month. So, that's always a stupid week anyway. Um, but I'm just so annoyed. And I told myself, I just need to get this out, even though my doctor was, he's like, I told him, I, I was like, yeah, I lost, you know, 10 pounds this, these two weeks. And he's like, well, how much have you lost overall? And he's like, well, that's great. The dietitian said the same thing. My family is all saying the same thing, my friends. And I'm not like thrilled. I mean, it's 32 pounds. I haven't lost 32 pounds in a month and I don't know how long, but I was hoping for like 50 pounds or something like that just because I cut out so much stuff and I feel like I'm being a brat like I should just be losing 100 pounds or whatever in a month um but I'm just annoyed and I just wanted you guys to know that I'm annoyed um anyway whatever um I have to stick with this stupid diet for all the way until surgery so yay me um i have uh i was given today the papers for like the um the uh post-op papers as far as like what i'll be doing the first three days in the hospital or whatever the how long i'm in the hospital two or three days um it'll be full um uh, it'll be all clear liquids um, and then after I leave the hospital, it'll be full liquids, clear liquids versus full. I still don't have a complete understanding of it, but I think once you get into the full liquids, you can start. No, because popsicles aren't the only one. I don't know. I have to read the paper and I just didn't look at it while I was at the appointment because I still was pouting about that 10 pound weight loss. So I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Um, but anyway, it breaks it down as, as far as like what weeks I have to do what. Then it goes on to like the whatever the stages are after the um, liquids and all of that. So and it gives me like a sample menu and all that good stuff. Um, so I'm not going to waste y'all's time being annoyed. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all about that. Um, what I got from the office today. Oh, I followed up with the doctor, with the um, front desk staff about um, the psych evaluation and um this is something else that annoyed me like i'm I, just gonna be apparently a guinea pig with this um whole process with um with submitting my um uh, papers to insurance without this mmpi test or whatever that they usually do um, just to see if insurance will approve without it. So I feel like I'm about to be wasting my time. There's a strong possibility. I mean, it's a 50-50 chance. If insurance approves it, they'll, they approve it. If they don't, they don't. And I'm probably going to have to have my surgery day pushed back, which I will be extremely pissed off about because I've been waiting. On, I've been told May 6th for like since the beginning of March or, you know, something like that. They had me plugged in on the calendar for this entire time. Now here we are two weeks out. I have to wait and see if insurance is going to approve it without this MMPI. And then if not, then I have to go and do this two hour long test and whatever else that I don't feel like doing and I don't feel like paying for. And I just am really in a, just a terrible mood. Um, on top of that, I just felt like I want to eat whatever I wanted. Um, wanted to eat whatever I wanted earlier. And I literally sat in my car after the appointment for like an hour, maybe even two hours. I don't know. I just sit in my car and was talking to my friend. And then I'm just like, I want to, I want food. I'm irritated. I'm tired. It's been raining all day. I didn't lose the weight that I want to eat. I want some ice cream. I want pizza. I wanted chicken strips from Zaxby's. I wanted what 
whatever it is that I couldn't have on this list, I just wanted it. And then I sat there and, of course, I'm venting to my family and everybody's just like, well, oh, remember you have so many goals and you have so many blah, 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 whatever you want to do um, after um, surgery. And, you know, once I hit my goal weight or, you know, once I'm able to do more stuff, I've been like making a mental note or list of things that I have um that I haven't done before or things that I want to do, like getting on a roller coaster. I haven't done that since uh, eighth grade. Um, may not be 29 at the end of this month. So it's kind of been a long time I haven't on a roller coaster. Um, I want to do go do play laser tag. Never done that. I'm not about to run around in the dark for what. But that's something I want to do once I'm skinny and I'm not like super, you know, just annoyed <laughs> with being fat. <laughs> Um, I just like, I have so many things that I want to do and I know that uh, 32 pounds in a month is great, but whatever. So anyway, I decided that I wasn't going to eat whatever I wanted tonight. And so I was like, let me go to KFC and, um, get some chicken breasts because I don't have any groceries. Um, and green beans. And I'm like, yeah, that'll be a great meal. That's something I like. I get that on a regular basis. I'm like, I'll go there, get grilled chicken. Now, mind you, the last time I went, just a few days ago, they didn't have grilled chicken. And I was thoroughly disappointed in them. Um, uh, because you're a chicken place. Why are you out of, 